Australia's General Attorney offered a balance of the meeting held with the Attorney General of the International Criminal Court when the, where the violation of the human rights of the Venezuelan people by the United States was evaluated. In this case, the serious violation of human rights suffered by the Venezuelan people are being studied. There is a constructive collaboration between the offices of both prosecutors. In this case, the serious violation of human rights suffered by the Venezuelan people are being studied as a consequence of the sanctions against our country, which, as it is known, have affected the right to health, including the right to food, and as a consequence of both violations, have also affected the right to life. Then Tarek William Saab said that he will send information to the International Criminal Court that will detract from the Public Prosecutor's Office work in defense of human rights. We emphasize that in this stage of preliminary analysis there is a constructive collaboration between the offices of both prosecutors in order to provide sufficient information on the actions of the Venezuelan justice system. And this is what we did in part on Wednesday, November 4, and that in the next few days we will also deliver to the Office of the Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court information that reveals, in this case, that the Venezuelan state punishes and pursues those who violate human rights. The Venezuelan Attorney General also affirmed that he possessed data that computes and proves the investigations carried out by the Public Prosecutor's Office on human rights violations in the country. In the event that the prosecutor concludes that such or such crimes are within her jurisdiction, we will be able to demonstrate in a convincing manner that in our country the acts of violence and the violation of human rights have been investigated and to the extent that those responsible have been able to be identified, they have been punished with the full force of the law.